Hello everybody, welcome back to Tin Man Collections. And today, I thought I'd do a little shoe review outside. So, today, uh, I wanted to show you guys my shoes I just picked up last weekend over a shoe show. And these are the Skechers Men's Dighton. That's D-I-G-H-T-O-N Slip Resistor Shoe. And item number for this is 77111. Now, I'm going to go through the specs and then like point out the features and everything. And then I'll put them on and show you what it looks like on my feet on the concrete. So, it's got an electrical hazard shape design. Which, I don't think I'm going to be stepping in a pool of water that's electrified or anything. But, you never know now, right? But anyway, durable synthetic leather upper, which is this stuff right here. Man, look at that some sort of new leather laces up at the front and uh, I put these suckers on my feet and I feel like these are like dress shoe laces but they're not dress shoe laces reinforced stitching on the seams I don't know if you can see that right here the stitching on the seams and everything it's sturdy it's got a paddock tongue and collar for extra support so right here and uh, it does provide some support but uh micro perforations to keep the foot cool it actually does actually uh, i wore this a few days ago or so and i noticed that it was keeping me cool because it's right here the holes are right here in this vent right here right here and it's got some right here on this side and it's a relaxed fit memory foam insole for all day comfort yeah right here that red sole right here and it's got a slip resistive rubber foot right here. So this is slip resistive. But th this thing is built sturdy. It's more built better than the shoe I used to wear. That was a car. Hold on. I'm going to go grab my old shoe so I can show you the difference, basically. Hold on. All right, I'm back. <laughs> uh, this is one of my old shoes right here. And this is a different uh, model. As you can see, I kind of beat this one up already it's all worn out I don't know if you can see the insole or not but you could probably see that ripped up area but anyway this one's built more better than this one this is more like just an ever everyday walk around shoe this is built uh, for work use but so it will last longer than this one and since these got old I've just been slipping them on and off my feet without untying them I said I need to stop doing that so when I got these I'm just lacing them up so that's a little comparison for you oh and if I ever do get a new pair of these I'll do a video review on them as well but anyway enough about that some more vehicle traffic Hold on. all right I'm gonna slide these shoes on and I'm going to move you guys over to the concrete pad so you can see what they look like on my feet. So, hold on tightly. So, I'm going to back up right here so you can see what I'm talking about. These things feel a lot more comfortable than my old shoes, I'm telling you. Ooh, almost fell back. But see. Can't keep my legs up, hold on. But that rubber sole on the bottom, it feels like... I could just jump in the air on a bed. It feels a lot more better than my old shoes, I tell you. But anyway, and let me bend the camera down so you can see. A little bit more. So, do I highly recommend them? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to come back on the porch and tell you my final conclusions on this all right what I recommend these shoes yes okay they're more comfortable for me to wear than them uh, other shoes I had but uh, anyway oh and when I was in the Skechers store back uh, a few years ago I saw these shoes and uh, the lady, the sales lady said that uh, 
I think she said that nurses and doctors wear these things too, so because they're comfortable on their feet. So if you're a doctor or nurse, there you go, right there. Even uh, I think they said you know since it's rated for electrical hazard or anything, I, I think electricians can use them. But uh, I don't know about anybody else, but uh, I think carpenters can use them. They're comfortable, but. You gotta get them checked through your bosses first because uh, they don't have steel toe. They're standard toes, but they're thicker. So, and I, I bought a size 15 <laughs> because my old shoes were a size uh, 14 extra wide. No, 14 wide, excuse me. Uh, and I realized my toes were needed more room, so I said, let me go with the 15. Just standard 15, not no wide 15. Because I think I'll tell the story in the video when if I get another pair of these, I'll tell you because when I was going through high school, I had a pair of 15 wides, and those are way too big on my feet. And then we went with the 14 wide, and it was better. So I think if I get another pair of these, I might go with standard 15. But anyway, that was that. But anyway, like I said, highly recommend these. They're breathable and everything. I just got to break them in. Yeah, they're still kind of new. Uh, and if you're wondering, Here's the box. It says Skechers memory foam and uh, from Skechers the work line basically. So you won't be able to slip in these right here, that's for sure. But uh, I thought I'd get on here and tell you guys that. And um, and like I said, if I buy any more shoes, I'll make a video of them. But uh, I'll be wearing these from now on than my old ones. So. That's going to be it for now. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on those post notifications, and I'll see you next time. This has been another successful installment of the Tin Man Collections channel. I'm Jeffrey the Tin Man Taylor, and sayonara.